it was the briefing that I got what, when I got here and the organisation that was by the paid staff that I understood what my role would be. There were maps out, there were things out, there were people you could ask because, you know, for people who are uh, geographically challenged as far as <laughs> reading maps, you know, everything was there. We knew exactly where to go, how many houses we were to see, come back for lunch, go out again. I briefed them every day when they did their outreach service over Easter. So that was just to give them an, an idea of the, the, the places they were visiting, what had been the level of the disaster at those places, what they would expect people to be feeling and thinking. And so that was very, very valuable. Very helpful and it prepared me um, in the sense that I could understand the various roles that's involved and um, it was really useful when it came to the floods. You never anticipate how absolutely scary the whole situation can be because if it is a bushfire for example there's noise, there's camera, there's ambulance people, there's people frantic, people crying, people with different languages. The adrenaline builds, uh, the nerves, all that, all that kicks in, you get onto the truck, the truck gets out there, you get your first experience of lights and sirens and you're going through red lights or wrong side of the road or whatever and you're thinking Superman in an orange suit, how good's this? Uh, and then you'll get halfway there or you might even just get out of the station and then you'll get that call from SES dispatch saying yeah from police on scene uh, confirmed no person's trapped SES not required. I arrived over here to find that there would have been 40 or 50 people just like myself that had tried to volunteer in a number of places and many of them had schools many of them didn't have schools and they turned up ready to do a day's work so we headed off and um, started erecting fences for the people who lost them. Goods were coming in to the RSPCA here at Burwood and they needed sorting. It was a you know, physical exercise, better than a gym workout, and um, it was uh, full on for four or five hours um, with lots of water breaks and lots of people saying, how are you? The ongoing challenge is um, with any large organisation, it is um, just working with people. There were so many different people here. Getting the volunteers to come to work with our organisation when the fires hit, we had people walk in our office, in our Bendigo office, in our national office, sign up left, right and centre. As I explained to our people, we won't do any work till three or four months down the track when things settle down. And then getting the volunteers to come back, they just, oh no, I didn't want to do it at that stage. It's very humbling that there are people who need you, even though you don't have, you don't think you have the skills to give. And this is an opportunity that gives me the tools, the strength, the knowledge to be able to give to another human being in a time of crisis or need. So I'm very, very happy to be a volunteer. I think the overwhelming support from the broader community would, would be one of the, the main highlights. The last 12 months are my most rewarding 12 months of my career of any stage I've had in my life. It's um, meeting these people seeing the hardships going through and actually delivering something for them on the ground, they really do appreciate what you've done and you feel like you're doing something first-hand that's going to benefit people. Life-changing. Mm. It's been terrific. It's been a ch uh, challenging at times. It's been, uh, there's been stages where I wondered whether as a bushfire survivor myself I was suited to the role, um, but on the whole I've found it, uh, I've grown through the through the experience, and yeah, I don't think I would change it. My volunteer work in emergencies has been very humbling, and it has been something that I'm I'm very grateful for the training that I have received, enabling me to go out and do the volunteer work to be able to give out constructive information to these people who need it, to be able to help. Uh, people to regain balance back to their selves so that they can go on continuing with their lives.